I had not thought about friendships before. I didn't know how they worked. My original thought on them was that they're not really worth much time because they were law paired and I didn't really know much about them. And people don't really want to employ autistic people, it's quite uncomfortable, so it took me a while, so I decided to do an apprenticeship instead. I thought I was too old to do one, but I kind of ended up doing this and I'm enjoying it so far. I had originally planned to go to university after my A-levels I'd applied without ever thinking about apprenticeships. I went into the jobs on press in college and I had a chat with them. Taylor Wimpy came forward saying that they were looking for a new apprentice joiner, so I put my name down towards that and then I got offered to come for an interview here and then I got the job. I just went for the interview and I ended up getting the job in the end, so I was happy. <laughs> I went to speak to the job zone at Preston College. They put me in contact with Harrison Drury, who made it possible for me to start my career. I started here as an apprentice, and from that I have now been here for a few months. I think the perfect apprentice is someone who's willing to gain experience both through real life work and through the educational route. I think somebody that has fun, is enthusiastic about their job. My employer helps me by teaching me new things, develop new skills. You have regular one-to-ones, personal development plans, and I was even given a day off from work to actually attend college to get my assignments done. We're really looking for people who've got the capacity to learn and grow. They've got passion, desire, and ambition to succeed. We know we have a skill shortage in this country, and apprenticeships are the best way of filling that gap. Not everybody in this day and age is able to have the financial means to go to university and come in through a, an academic entry route. We envisage our apprenticeship programme expanding as we look for more skills tradespeople coming into our industry. If you've not considered having apprentices or recruiting them into your business, then you're definitely missing out on a massive talent pool there in the market. Once I've finished my apprenticeship, I'd like to just stay with Taylor Wimpy as long as I can. I want to just see if I can grow and maybe get more qualifications and hopefully just continue with the company because I really like it. My advice to any young person would be to absolutely jump at the chance of doing an apprenticeship. You gain skills that you just don't get through the university route and you get to do real work while getting qualified. <laughs>